Chapter 4 Some of the descendants of Judah were Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Shobal's son Reiah was the father of Jehath, Jehath was the father of Ahumai and Lehad. These were the families of the Zorathites. The descendants of Etam were Jezreel, Ishma, Idbash, Hazelel Ponai, his daughter, Penuel, the father of Gidor, and Ezer, the father of Husha. These were the descendants of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathah, the ancestor of Bethlehem. Ashur, the father of Tekoa, had two wives named Hila and Neara. Neira gave birth to Ahuzam, Hefer, Timenai, and Hahahashterai. Hila gave birth to Zireth, Izhar, Ethnan, and Koz, who became the ancestor of Anub, Zobaba, and all the families of Ahahel, son of Harum. There was a man named Jabez who was more distinguished than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and extend my lands. Please be with me in all that I do, and keep me from all trouble and pain. And God granted him his request. Kilub, the brother of Shuha, was the father of Mihir. Mihir was the father of Eshton. Eshton was the father of beth Rapha, Pasia, and Tehina. Tehina was the father of Ir-Nehash. These were the descendants of Rika. The sons of Kinaz were Othniel and Seraiah. Othniel's sons were Hathath and Mionathai. Mionathai was the father of Ophrah. Seraiah was the father of Joab, the founder of the Valley of Craftsmen, so called, because many craftsmen lived there. The sons of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, were Iru, Elah, and Neam. The son of Elah was Kenaz. The sons of Jehalalel were Ziph, Zipha, Tyria, and Azarel. The sons of Ezra were Jether, Mered, Epher, and Jalon. Mered married an Egyptian woman who became the mother of Miriam, Shemei, and Ishba, the father of Eshtemoa. Mered also married a woman of Judah who became the mother of Jered, the father of Gidor, Heber, the father of Soko, and Jekuthiel, the father of Zanoa. Mered's Egyptian wife was named Bithia, and she was an Egyptian princess. Hodiah's wife was the sister of Neham. One of her sons was the father of Kiela, the Garmite, and another was the father of Eshtemoa, the Meachathite. The sons of Shimon were Amnon, Rina, Ben-Hinan, and Tylon. The descendants of Ishai were Zoheth and Ben-Zoheth. Shelah was one of Judah's sons. The descendants of Shelah were Er, the father of Lika, Leada, the father of Marisha, the families of linen workers at Beth Ashbia, Jokim, the father of Kozeba, Joash, and Seraph, who ruled over Moab and Jashubalihim. These names all come from ancient records. They were the potters who lived in Nitaim and Gidera. They all worked for the king. The sons of Simeon were Nemuel, Jamin, Jarib, Zira, and Shaul. The descendants of Shaul were Shalom, Mibsam, and Mishma. The descendants of Mishma were Hamuel, Zakur, and Shimei. Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but none of his brothers had large families, so Simeon's tribe never became as large as the tribe of Judah. They lived in Beersheba, Molada, Hazar Shual, Bilha, Ezem, Tolad, Bethuel, Homa, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susim, Beth Birai, and Sha'araim. These towns were under their control until the time of King David. Their descendants also lived in Etam, Ain, Rimon, Token, and Eshon, five towns and their surrounding villages as far away as Baalath. This was their territory, and these names are recorded in their family genealogy. Other descendants of Simeon included Mishobab, Jamlech, Josha, son of Amaziah, Joel, Jehu, son of Joshabiah, son of Seraiah, son of Asiel, Ilionai, Jeacobah, Joshahiah, Asaiah, Adiel, Jeshemiel, Benaiah, and Ziza, son of Shiphai, son of Alon, son of Jedeiah, son of Shimrai, son of Shemaiah. These were the names of some of the leaders of Simeon's wealthy clans who traveled to the region of Gidor in the east part of the valley seeking pasture land for their flocks. They found lush pastures there, and the land was quiet and peaceful. 
Some of Ham's descendants had been living in the region of Gidor, but during the reign of King Hezekiah of Judah, the leaders of Simeon invaded it and completely destroyed the homes of the descendants of Ham and of the Meronites. They killed everyone who lived there and took the land for themselves because they wanted its good pasture land for their flocks. Five hundred of these invaders from the tribe of Simeon went to Mount Seir, led by Pelatiah, Neriah, Rephaiah, and Uziel, all sons of Ishai. They destroyed the few Amalekites who had survived, and they have lived there ever since.